Playing for Gino Oriema requires dedication and skill that could be unmatched anywhere else in college basketball. But what's it like being on his coaching staff? Chris Daly, Shea Ralph, and Marissa Mosley are at Gino's side every day. Wait, sorry, I know that we're supposed to be talking like serious, but have you guys seen the um, Real Housewives of Disney? Mm -mm, no. They did a spoof. SNL, SNL did the Disney characters. No, the SNL did. did That's it. What I'm saying the Disney characters. The, the Disney princesses, and it is hysterical. <laughs> Can we pull it up, please? We have a really great rapport. All of us have um, different skill sets, and and yet some, they're all complementary of each other, and so it works really well together. We're probably all very type A. And so that works well because you don't ever feel like someone's not carrying their weight, but we're able to work together and kind of play off of each other. One of the things is maybe with four man, first of all, we, maybe we didn't do it yesterday and I know that was just one day, but right now, even if it's part of the warm up, do you guys think we should do it every single day? Mm -hmm. We have a, a model and we have a template and this works, but you can't just sit there and say, this works, let's do it. We're constantly asking ourselves, what do we want to do different? You know, every day. Today, just talking in a meeting, um, you know, the coaches, hey, so what did you see over in Europe during the summer that you want to maybe try to add? Pass, go screen, got back cuts, come back to the ball. Pass, got curls, come back to the ball. So we know what we want, we know what we want to do, and we know how to do it. But every day, you know, you got to try to find something that kind of adds to it so that you don't stay the same, you don't get stale. This is what I, I asked you. In some of the drills that we do, we're teaching them to just go, like, we teach them to stop there instead of continuing to run. And then maybe that's hard to break that for them, that habit. One of the things that has been a strength of our program is that we've never just allowed things to be status quo. We try to bring in new drills so that no one's bored. Natalie, jump! Jump to the ball! He cut in front of you. Jump to the ball! Too easy, too easy! We're not reinventing ourselves as people or as a program. Uh, we're just fine-tuning what we're going to need to do to have this group be successful. Good, good. Reverse. Ball. Good. Let's slice it, slice it. Yes! I think it's really easy when what you're doing is working to not want to change or reinvent yourself, but I also think that's where you get in trouble. It's fun to say, well, what else? Well, what next? What could we add to that to make it different, to make it better? Don't let me knock you off balance. Up. Good. We're not afraid to make changes to see if we can be better. Those are risks that we take, and we're not afraid to take. There's always that challenge there to be the best, to get the most out of each group. And I, I think the fact that Gino challenges us as a staff. On the way back from national championships on the bus, he'll say, what do we have to do to be good next year? What do we have to do to be better? Well, we just went 40 and 0. I'm not sure we can be better, but to be better as coaches, to learn something new, to bring something to the table that we've gotten from other people. We steal things from other people. I think everyone steals ideas, you know? I mean, I wouldn't call us common thieves, but I think that, you know, you're always looking to improve. So whether you're watching the pro game or, you know, just today we were watching film with Coach and watching some international basketball, there's always an opportunity to learn, tweak something, take this play and mash it together with that one. I think that's the coolest thing working here with him is kind of you get to pick his mind and then challenge it. Like, but what about this? Or could we do this too? And there's never uh, like, no, we can't do that. You know, it's like, let's see how it looks. and, and see if we can build it in. All right, guess what we're doing? Hey, hey, hey. all right. Three dribbles. <laughs> Three dribble max. Okay, so same thing as yesterday, but today they're gonna start with a dribble. So I'm gonna have them start with three dribbles, and then they have three dribbles to beat you. So the idea is to get you to continue to learn how to move your feet before they make their move. Basketball's not rocket science. We all take stuff. I think what sets us apart is our expectation level of our players. All the time people are like, you guys must practice, man, you, it must be like basketball, basketball. It's not, actually, it's not at all. And we don't practice four hours a day. But when we're in there, it's efficient. Good job, keep working on it, keep working on it. It's, gonna, it's one of the hardest things to do in basketball. The, the key is to not make the same mistake over and over and over. Learn, move on and get better. All right, good job. One, two, three. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm
I don't know that we worry at all about what people outside the program say and the pressure. You come to embrace the pressure. You don't want to run away from it. You don't want to hide from it. Uh, you don't want to pretend. You know, you don't want to say, hey, you know, like we just won two national championships in a row. So if we don't win it this year, like everybody's going to understand. You know, so you don't go around acting like that. You, you, you can't diffuse it. It's there. You know, it's not like an NFL head coach, you know, where you've got 16 games and your season rides on every Sunday. You know, it's not like that. You know, we've got a long season and, you know, you just kind of you know, just play. Just play. Resting on one's laurels. Where does the coach stand on the subject when it appears that winning comes easy to UConn? He discusses in Gino On. It's just human nature. There really is no, no way around it. I think when you have a lot of success, if you're not careful, you can take it for granted. If you have success year after year after year and you win and win and win and all you know is winning, you start to believe that you just wake up in the morning and you win. As a player, as a coach, as a program, I think that's inevitable. It's inevitable. And it's probably one of the hardest things to overcome. The reason there's a saying, rest on your laurels, is because it's true. If you're not diligent, and even if you are, there's just human nature. You know, nothing gets your juices flowing. Nothing gets you motivated more than losing. That's why it's kind of incredible what we've done, if I say so myself, because we don't have losing as our motivator. When we won in 2002, three and four, three years in a row, we didn't go to Final Four in 2005, six and seven. Now some of that was we just weren't good enough. But how much of that maybe was we didn't work hard enough, I don't know. I don't know. Then we won 90 games in a row. What happened after that? You know, we went, still went to the Final Four, but we didn't win. Then we won back to back the last two years. Who knows? But I'm sure that it's in every player and it's in every program, no question. 